hello wonderful people viewers and subscribers all over the world many of you are abreast with what is happening in Afghanistan a long age war between liberalism and extremism and from what has happened so far the Taliban taking over Afghanistan the capital city Kabul it is a clear indication that you can never win a war based on ideology talibans are driven by ideology and extremist ideology to implement sharia to the letter and usa who have occupied afghanistan for 20 good years lost that war despite the rockets tanks war machines and i must tell you just like the Afghanistan Taliban made a clear statement that it is not just about Afghanistan, they are spreading to the rest of the world. This is a site I honestly thought I would never see. Scores of Taliban fighters and just behind us, the U.S. Embassy compound. Some carry American weapons. They tell us they're here to maintain law and order. Everything is under control. Everything will be fine, the commander says. Nobody should worry. What's your message to America right now? America already spent enough time in Afghanistan. They need to leave, he tells us. They already lost lots of lives and lots of money. It's our belief that one day Mujahideen will have victory in Islamic law Will come not to just Afghanistan, but all over the world. We are not in a hurry. We believe it will come one day. Jihad will not end until the last day. You had him right. They are spreading to the rest of the world, especially Africa, particularly Nigeria. And in no distant time, if care is not taken, what happened in Afghanistan will happen here in Nigeria. It is already happening. They've got their foot soldiers in Nigeria and many African countries driving and fighting the same war based on the same ideology to implement Sharia to each letter. And like I said, if care is not taken, the entire Nigeria will fall under the same way the Taliban took over the Afghanistan. And what must we do if we must end the encroachment or the spread of this extremist ideology, not just in Nigeria but across the globe, is to fight it with ideological based war. And that ideologically based war should be founded on equality fairness and justice i've always said that the reason why america will continue to fail in the middle east is because they try to implement their own kind of democracy and force it down the throats of other people despite the fact we all know that democracy is re relative us and the uk they are not practicing the same democracy and that should be extended to the entire world based on equality, fairness, and justice. Some of you accused me, tagged me, all manner of names because I supported Donald Trump. And in case you forgot the video which went viral, it's almost a million views on this platform when Trump made that statement at the UN. Listen. Each of us here today is the emissary of a distinct culture, a rich history, and a people bound together by ties of memory, tradition, and the values that make our homelands like nowhere else on Earth. That is why America will always choose independence and cooperation over global governance, control, and domination. I honor the right of every nation in this room to pursue its own customs, beliefs, and traditions. The United States will not tell you how to live or work or worship. 
We only ask that you honor our sovereignty in return. That is exactly what should be reflective in the entire world. Beginning with my home country, Nigeria. The only way Nigeria or Nigerian people can avoid the Afghanistan situation is to balkanize Nigeria. Because you can never win that war against Iswap and Boko Haram in Nigeria. Because we have seen even top government people who are sympathetic with the ideology driving Boko Haram and extremist ideologies. We have seen them make public statements in their actions. Even some military personnel share the same ideological feeling based on their religious sentiment. And that is why it is impossible to win this war with bombs and bullets. So you should stop wasting your resources, lives, and your time in using bombs to combat these people. The only thing to implement is ideologically based war, which the Biafran people are at the front burner. And let me remind Nigeria, especially Buhari, in case you don't know about this, that you cannot defeat a people who are determined and who is fighting based on ideology, just like the Biafran people. And Biafra represents equity, justice, and fairness for everyone. Self-determination. Let everyone govern themselves according to their will, according to their aspiration, according to their tradition, according to their norms and values. You don't impose foreign system on a people and expect them to just relax and follow you like gold. Nobody is just that dumb. People will always resist. And that is why you just have to join me on the live program tonight. I'm sorry we wanted to bring this program yesterday, but because of some forces who have been attacking our system remotely, removed or truncated our audio, that people can no longer hear what we're saying. We just have to reschedule for tonight. So join me 6 p.m. as I bring Abdul Aziz, the spokesman of Northern Coalition, and Barista Meke Mekesri, the chairman of Movement of Biafras in Nigeria. Let us talk about it before Nigeria will become another Afghanistan in Africa. The best thing to do is to balkanize peacefully. Let everyone go and nurture, go and strive, go and develop at their own pace based on their norms and values. You cannot force people who cannot coexist, who do not have any meeting point. You cannot force them to cohabit. That is why Nigeria had never worked. That is why Nigeria is not working. And that is why Nigeria will never work. And some of the updates coming from Afghanistan, you can go to my personal YouTube channel where I publish raw content. You know, this, this platform um, is really being monitored. So, um, whatever raw materials, especially sensitive ones, I publish it on my private um, YouTube channel. That is Asozo Blog. So, you can use the link or search for it, Asozo Blog. You'll be seeing all these updates there. Subscribe there and I tell you, on this platform, BVI Channel 1, we are determined to open up the eyes of the people and open up the eyes of our people to rise up to the occasion before it is too late. I'm signing out. I'm out the repeaters. See you this evening. 6 p.m. is the time. BVI Channel 1 is the platform. I'm signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comments. Let me have your opinion. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you.